Hello and welcome back. Uh, this video is on uh, two programs. Firstly, Patch My PC that I came across on the internet, and the other one is uh, Secunia. And I've installed both of them, and uh, and I'll explain what they do. Um, both are both actually. This one is um, if you go to uh, Google and type in Patch My PC, you get this link, and patchmypc.net and what you want is you right click on that and then you get this and you can download this uh, onto your PC and you can also use it as a um, portable freebie as, as mentioned there. Uh, this is free and basically it's uh, um, um, a utility that keeps your secure computer secure and updates uh, uh, available software on the list um uh, quite easily right and i'll i'll show you how that works in a minute and the other one is if you type in secunia and um they're the security analyst research group you want the psi the free security software right click on that and you get this free computer security as it says there and it what it this one also updates any insecure programs on your PC. Uh, unlike uh, um, utilities or downloaders out there like uh, File Hippo and I think uh, File Horse and File Puma, all named after animals' names, uh, do the same thing. Basically, they scan your computer and see which uh, programs are there that uh, have been updated and there's also beta versions. I have been using uh, File Hippo as well but in uh, that just alerts you to what updates you need and then you have to manually download them and install them. The advantage of File Hippo and uh, programs like that is that you get to, to choose which ones you want to install and what um, and uh, what um, see if you go to file hippo while we on the subject so there's uh, file hippo and you got file horse <laughs> they all do the same thing and or oh, similar thing and file puma so I, I, I like to compare and see which ones actually uh, keep up to speed with uh, what's out there. So there's File Hippo. You can download the free update checker and that scans your um, computer for any updates you need. And what you want, what I've done is set it to not in have on the settings, you can change the settings to not recognize, oh, sorry I don't know if you can see that, uh, that's where you download it from. I'm trying to get used to this not new software of uh, screen recording instead of Cam Studio and uh, test driving it with this uh, tutorial um, so bear with me and that se change the settings to not include beta because I, I rather have stable versions than use uh, uh, beta versions because you'll see beta uh, for example here there's a beta version I don't want to choose that so you can opt out in the settings in the file horse, I don't know, that also does for Mac, so it's useful to compare the two. So you've got Windows and Mac updates, so we'll stick to Windows because this is on a Windows 7 machine. Uh, and you can see some updates there and then you can manually download them. And same with this one, I think this one does the update checkup. Anyway, let's go crack on with the... Um, the one I've come across which is patch my PC and I've got it um, uh, I'm just gonna open it up from my computer uh, just so you download it it's very very small file 410 kilobytes you just run it it doesn't install I think it just runs it and obviously it needs an administrator password and and this one you have to install Secunia it's uh, 3125 kilobytes and I've also got that running so I'll minimize that and it's sitting 
I'll open that in a minute. You can't see in the screen. And just type in the password. And it'll load in a minute. There you go. That's um if you can see as your secure loading, right? Version three and it'll then update um if you set it uh I think it's just on that. Alright, here we are. So um you can see it says seven ninety seven percent uh score and these programs need updating. You can right click on them and choose more information or details or ignore it and it, it doesn't update it if you want to keep that one uh, if it's out of date then it's worth either taking it off they suggest or updating it if it doesn't update and it's one of those where you need it for uh, another old program which I've got I think yeah I've got uh, it says here end of life so I need that for a, a CD because they they use Adobe Reader 4 so what I've done is um, you can then don't ignore update to this so it'll put it back for an update but I've, I've selected it so that uh, for example this one you can uh, ignore and then what will happen is it'll go down to the bottom so let's scroll down to the bottom and and it's there as you can see there so you can choose to not ignore uh, update and what all you do is um, uh, click on that to update and you can scan again for example I don't know if you can see scan again and it'll scan to see if it's been updated all these programs have been updated and in the settings uh, you can have detailed view right so you got uh, it looks like this and as you can see that needs updating with, with the version or you can choose the um, icon display so just click to click so let's click on that and this is what the icon looks like and and then um, when you when you update you can say right when you install this Secunia um, it, they recommend that you um, update it so tick that if you want to it'll automatically update I've left it unticked and I want them to notify uh, it's not recommended but I like it like that because things like Firefox and uh, some programs install a, a hidden toolbar and I don't like that I don't like toolbars on, on, on my machine so I choose to leave it like that so that's quite useful but you can have both and compare and this one um, once you've downloaded it it looks like this I'll bring it into the screen and this is version 2.3.04 and um, it lists you all the common and other software common updates so you know the the green ones oops Oh, uh, there's two important updates now um, so you, you, you'll get green ones th which are updated the red ones need patching and uh, the other ones are not on your machine so they they are in black for example 64-bit machine mine's a 32-bit machine so it doesn't recognize that and then you can right click on them and install reinstall or over skip this update etc um, now it's found two uh, critical Windows updates and I'll show you it's obviously shown there and these are the other common updates and other updates are all, all okay so while it's updating it with Windows Server I'm going to show you what the other software they, they do you can select and install them and um, I've, I'll do another video where well I've I've already used this to install a program which I came across and I did my research before I installed it uh, called JetClean and um, maybe I'll make another video on that and uh, just where are we J so I've got Gary Utilities I've left that unticked because it's already installed so if you want to install uh, install a program you can tick that and um, it, it'll uh, 
send it to other update here and then you choose then to select to update that it'll say right update this one but because I've already updated that I'm going to untick that here okay so that disappears very very quick this one is very quick actually it's quicker than Secunia right so now it's uh, found the two updates and it's uh, what's it doing right it's found two priority updates is uh, this arrow means it's actually this green scrolling bar means it's uh, contacting the server please wait as you can see here so when it's done it, it it'll say do you want patch my PC to update it um, if it's high up priority updates I, I, I would choose that I have been choosing this uh, otherwise you can go into the control panel and look at the updates in you know this uh, Windows uh, update in your control panel and then some of them might be like a bar not optional so you, you can choose if it's optional I think these are important so it'll definitely choose I, I definitely update the important ones uh, I don't think it does the optional but Windows control panel shows optional so you can then untick tick them um, I'm going to pause the video here and see come back to it in a minute and I'll test this program as well see how fast this works so when it's ready to install I'll come back speak to you now. I'm back to remind uh, of the other tabs while we're waiting um, this one has options and you can select always skip these etc and save to log select some of them have, have, a, have a look at the website for more update and their forums there are switches I think these are set auto switch will automatically update and switch will run patch hidden and update switch um, I haven't figured this one out yet uh, you can reset them I don't I haven't done that yet so I've left that you can recheck software from here and I think it's done it so it says as we were talking this one's gone compliant so all updates successful as you can see and then he does an exit code and then you get uh, update compliant zero updates and just move that a little bit and um, other updates so options as I said you can always skip or keep uh, leave this so you can select to skip that uh, I haven't done that yet and then you get these publishers startup items and some are unknowns you can verify check whether these are you can enable or disable them delete them and start up I haven't done that yet so you need to test it before you do this to make sure it were you know you know what you're doing um, uninstallers you can uninstall a for example you can uninstall auto uninstall normal remove etc and and this is the uh, copyright of the owner and um, you can obviously donate if you like the program and there's also a, a re report bugs or request features on the forum section which is the link provided here and that's basically it. it's very very quick and um, you got the common updates so you standard up other software you can use these tabs or these tabs here uh, the options and windows and then it starts contacting well, I'm going to cancel that one and stop the video there I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.